Hello and welcome to another How to Build the Web tutorial. I'm Michelle Edhouse and this tutorial we're going to be covering how to build product category pages in Divi Builder or Divi Theme. Now if you haven't come across Divi Theme it's an amazing um, page builder uh, which is just growing dynamically and um, is so easy to use. Now the one thing that I have struggled to find information on how to do is how to create a customized product category page for WooCommerce using Divi. So this is the process and here we go. So here we are in this shop that I'm creating and um, as you can see here I've got several different categories. Now when I drill down into my massage tables category I get the standard boring old massage table page. This is the product category page. If I had a description in the product categories it would just show up as boring plain text just here above this, this line here. So how can we make it prettier? Now I've done one to, to show you. This class registrations one has been upgraded. See there we go and um, it just has that little bit of finesse and you can do whatever you like here really. You can create this page to look however you would like. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a similar type of thing for that massage table page. So let's get to it. So the first thing that you are going to want to do is to go into your dashboard for your website and down to Divi, Divi Library and in here we're going to create the layout page that will become our product category page. Okay so we're going to cl click on add new and we're going to give it a name and I'm going to call it archive oops <laughs> archive massage tables. You can call it whatever you like. Now we're going to create it as a layout and we're also going to make it a global. Now there are um, there's reasons behind that but it's not really relevant. Just use those options and we're good to go. Click on submit and it will bring us to our normal Divi builder looking page. How does it get any easier than that? So we're going to go ahead and create that page as we desire it to look. Um, and first things first is to create that header. So a single column with a, I like to use the slider option to create things like that and this one is massage tables. And a background image, do, 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 do. I have created a background image here somewhere, where did I put that? load this and click set as background and that is all you've got all sorts of other things that you could choose there but that is all you need to do um, we don't need to show controls because it's the only one and uh, can use parallax effect if we wanted to let's go ahead and pop that in and click save so there is our slider and insert text and I've got <laughs> format and I just want that to be clear formatting centered like the other one. Okay, save that one 
and then we're going to pop in our shop module now there's plenty of videos on how to edit the shop mo module within Divi um, but we're going to use a product category and select the category that we wish to use and uh, just going to leave everything else default for now for this example so there we have it really really basic really quick and easy to do but makes so much quick changes now that is not enough okay what we need to do now is actually let WordPress know that when it goes to a WooCommerce product category called massage tables that it needs to use this layout so to do this we're going to need to be able to get into our file manager um, actually access the files in the back end and uh, so here we are in the back end of that website accessu.co.nz and we're going to need to drill down into the content into plugins and into WooCommerce and then into templates now there's two templates that we're going to need to take across one is the archive product and the other one if we hold down this control or command key we can get both of them taxonomy product cat now where do we need to take these we need to take these into our template and uh, I'm using a um, child theme of Divi which I highly highly recommend and I can put a link to a child theme tutorial in the description so what we have here is within our um, Divi child theme we've got another folder called WooCommerce and if you're going to do any um, any personalization of WooCommerce themes uh, WooCommerce templates like the emails or any of that you just bring them straight into this WooCommerce folder which you will need to set up so you can either use the copy or as I found out recently control and drag now I'm in cPanel file manager this may be different depending on how you use yours and then if we click over into that folder we now have those two fold files there now as you can see I already have archive product class registrations and taxonomy product cat class registrations now those two are the two files that I did previously to do that class registration um, one so what we're going to do is we're going to rename each of these in the same method so it's the file name and then a hyphen and then the slug of the product type now easiest way to find the that slug is to go into your product and there it is there it's that last bit there that you're after so we're going to copy that and then we're going to go back into our file manager and don't try clicking on here and changing the name because it doesn't work so click on the product till it's, uh, till, to the file so that it's highlighted and then click on rename and all we're going to do is put hyphen and then paste in our slug and click rename so there we have it we're going to do exactly the same process to the taxonomy hyphen product cat underscore cat file hyphen massage tables yay now that slug needs to match exactly or they will not line up now what is required to change so if we go into this taxonomy um, file and use the code editor and have a look all this file says is go to archive-product.php 
which would be correct if that's where we wanted it to go. But we don't anymore. We want it to go to hyphen massage tables. All right. So we've just told it instead of going to that standard uh, file, go to this new one that we're creating. Click on save and that's that file done. Close it down. Now the next one is to go into here and um, this one is going to be quite a big change but it's a very simple change and what we're going to do is we're going to oops <laughs> code edit not download now as you can see this file is quite complex and if you're like me and don't understand PHP, it's a load of gobbledygook. So, all we're going to do is, and I've got the um, class registrations one open here, so we can just copy and paste it, is we're going to take out everything after this point here including the question mark and greater than symbol and we're going to hide we're going to take out everything all the way down do, 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 including that less than question mark php on the bottom line okay because everything we're putting in here is PHP so we don't need to open and close the PHP really simple so now we have keep those on separate lines and on the middle line we're going to add one single line of code and it's this one here paste that in and I will include that in the descriptions but it's echo space do underscore short code bracket and all, all that gobbledygook. Now in here, this number here, global module equals and then a number. That number is a really important number. Back here in our edit layout in the Divi library, once we've clicked the publish that layout we will get a number up in our URL up here and that is the number that we need to use because we've got to tell it to use this layout for that place so I'm going to change that from 10763 to 1073 that's clever isn't it um, and so this will now, instead of going to the class registrations page, it will go to the massage tables page. Okay, so if we click save on that, simple, simple. Now, here I am in what we used to have as the basic massage tables page. And what we're going to do is we're just going to hit refresh. Ta -da! and there you have it you have that lovely little picture that I put in there and you can play around with the settings on that um, and get that image to look good if you desire to oh look and it's doing its parallel parallax effect and then we have the write-up and then the listing of all the products that are in that product category how does it get any better than that so it's very simple does take a little bit of tutuing around and um, but if you follow this process you can have every single product category having its own precious special little page and it look fantastic and if you ever want to change something say for example I decide that I wish to put in here massage tables for sale you just go back into that layout under Divi library and update so call them something when you're calling it the name I've put archive there that way when I've got all my 
looking at the list, I'm looking at all the archive ones together because they'll be in alphabetical order. So I've updated that. Now when I refresh, it will say massage tables for sale. How easy is that? And oh, maybe I want a bit more of a gap between here and here. So jump back into the layout. Again, I'll just show you quickly how to get to that Divi, Divi Library. Oops, Divi Library. There's our list and see how my archives are staying together by doing it that way. Click on that one. And if I insert a module, divider, and I've got blank dividers, and I want one above the text and one below the text. Update that. Just made them a 10, um, 10 point, and it will just puff it out just that little bit gives it that little bit of space in there. So you can use the Divi beautiful easy builder to create your WooCommerce product category pages. How does it get any better than that? So if somebody just rocks up to my shop and clicks on one of my categories there she blows and look at this if they're in the product and they go back to the category page right here yes it does it takes you back to that beautiful page you've just created so have fun how much beauty can you create within your website now that you have this piece of information and how much more fun can you have thanks so much for joining me and i'll see you on the next how to do the web blog post.